Now we have microphones. I have to do this for you every time. So it's just delivering to the doors and dropping and going? Yep. You want to yep. step on camera? Oh, I would, but I've got a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I don't want to make you look bad. No, you wouldn't no, want to do that. Want to you wouldn't want to do that. Broadcast. That is right. Chewbacca, right? <laughs> Chewbacca, yes, that's Chewbacca. There, it's right there. Oh. Look, as we're having okay. a conversation. I don't, I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? Turn your volume up. Oh. Maybe I click on it. Yeah. Apparently we're on the on air. It. Yes, right. I'm gonna do. Live? I'm gonna do. Do I not love disturb. Live, don't you? I love. Live. Yeah. It's just <laughs> way better thrill, than pre-recording. Yes. A thrill. Yes. Well, um, uh, this is supposed to be the green room, but we are never yeah. here on time for the green uh, room. So I say watch we just the green start. room anyway. I, I never do. No, me I never either. Do. I'm gonna start. Yes, let's do it. With a button Intro. over here somewhere. Intro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode 37, 37, 37 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, December already, December 6th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in, where are we? Appleton, Appleton Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I forgot about that. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the mayor of Meatville himself, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke. Eric! How are you? Oh, How are you? I'm. How are you? How are I'm you? I'm fantastic. Are you fantastic? How about yourself? I am. More importantly, I am equally fantastic. Equally. Equally. Oh, wow. I don't want to say more fantastic or fantasticer. Why well, not? Because I. I think you just did. I, I I said I didn't want to, so I didn't really. But you did. I just planted this seed. Okay. Okay. No, you're yes. fantasticer. So why are you so fantastic? Why not? The sun is shining. The sun it's is the shining. holiday it's season. It's a beautiful day out there. And hickory dock. Do you like the snow? I do like the snow, yeah. How have you arranged for snow only on the weekends, specifically Sunday? Well, I mean, people, they have more time to remove the snow from their driveways and their... Is that what you were yeah, doing? in theory. Is that what you did on Sunday? Yes. Did you? Partially. I, I had it removed. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. Just a removed. little magic wand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. A little positive thinking. Yeah. Oh. Someone came and moved it all the way. <laughs> How about that? Uh, shall I tell everybody what fairy. we're doing? Yeah. Let's our do, our table is full today because... Yes. Uh, like a and, yeah, cornucopia. A cornucopia of meat. A flat cornucopia. Uh, we're going to go over where our location. I've got some news. Uh, we'll talk about the meat market mailer, as we usually do. Yes. We're going to forego the weekly specials because in lieu of weekly specials, you're going to tell us all about the Jacob's Meat Market Christmas offerings. Right. Which are extraordinary. Oh, extraordinary. And I'm looking at some of them. Yes. Look at that uh, meat. I will, of course, go over special upcoming days. There will be a winner of last week's contest. Plus, will there be a new contest this week? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's dive yes. right in. Yes, sir. Uh, my table's full here. Yes. For anyone who may not know, Luke, where are we? We are in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. It is a beautiful day today. Yes, it beautiful. really is. It really is. I hope it is when you're watching as well. They're uh, watching right now. It's live. Oh, really? Yeah. Whoever's watching How many right people now, do we have in the... We can't see that anymore. I haven't oh. figured that out. Oh. You broke it and I haven't fixed Probably it. Probably at least one. Where are we? Appleton. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, halfway between Lawrence University and Apple, Appleton, or Appian. Used to be called Appleton Papers. Was it? Yes. Now it's Appian? Yes. So midway between College Ave and Wisconsin. Correct. Yes. On? Law and Pacific. Law and Pacific. Yes. And the name of this company? Jacob's, Jacob's Meat, Market. Meat Market. But it's more than meat. It is? It is. More than it's meets so the eye. so much more than meets the eye. Yes. Yeah. Are, are our microphones don't, don't on? Don't fall those. Yeah, right. Don't fall those. Don't drop them either. I won't fall them on. Do you have any news? Are we still in the green room? <laughs> no, this is not. This is the show. This is the show. Okay. I have news. This is I, why I people wanted to talk about in. the Packers. Yes. You, you did not go, but you were watching. Yeah, my yeah. sister went. And Your her, sister and, went. And her husband. Uh, well, that's why they won, right? Yes, yeah. I think so. You, you think they won, or you think that's why they? Won? I think that's why they won. Yes. Apparently, they're in third place of whatever category they're in. I don't know the categories. <laughs> oh my gosh! What are they? Is, Enlighten me. Is this MLS? I, I bet if it was MLS, you'd probably know. Major, Major League Soccer. Do you know who you follow? 
no, Major League Soccer? I only follow World Cup, and that's oh, every World four Cup. years, so I'm... Oh, yeah. okay. So you just have to know yeah. sports every four years. That's all. Okay. That's all. All right. So are you going to tell me? So they're in third place of the uh, NFC North. NFC North. See, I yeah. saw NFC, and I thought that yeah. must stand for something. That yeah, I, National I Football Conference. National Football. So third place is good? It's, it's better than better six, than fourth. Think. Yeah. There's only four. There's only the four. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. It's not fantastic, then, is it? Well, it's better than fourth. You know what I did Saturday night? What did you do Saturday night? I, I went to see a live nativity at St. Paul's Parish. You did? In combined locks. Really? I did. And how was it? Uh, it was really cool. Yeah? It was really cool. Uh, they, they make it like the streets of Bethlehem, supposedly. Right. I wasn't in Bethlehem. Right. This is probably nicer. It's like uh, um, Hollywood, probably. A Hollywood version yeah. of the streets yeah. of Bethlehem. I saw you there. You did? I did. You were... What are you looking at? I'm just making sure there's no pictures. There's no pictures. No, there's no pictures. Okay, because there's no the video evidence. The picture I sent you was from a video. It was just oh, a, okay. a grab of a video. So okay. it would look terrible on this on the screen. Okay, okay, um, thank you. But yes, you were dressed in your kingly robes? Yeah, your, my Sunday best. Your Sunday best? Yes. Chatting with your other kings? Yes. That's what you were doing. I, I like to think that I was a wise man, one of the wise well, men. Well, see, I said wise men last time, and you said one of the kings. So I thought maybe you thought you were a king. Well, I mean... You didn't look I'm very not sure what's you, look, the... you look princely. Princely? Oh, okay. You're a little too young. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying so. Sure, I don't mind at all. <laughs> I didn't think so. Even with the gray in my beard? Well, I was quite a ways away. Oh, yeah. In the car. It was a drive through Right. Very nice. Right. The only thing that would have made it better is if it had been gently snowing. That, yes. But you didn't arrange that. That came all. later. That came the next day. Yes. Yeah. Now, that was only a two-night two thing, right? It's, Correct. It's over. Yep, Friday and the, Saturday left. The town has been raised. Right. And Correct. put it into storage. Luckily, guys. yes. Is this something they do every year? Yes, every oh, year. Cool. Yep. So did you did you hear the music? The were, signs everywhere were... to tune to 30, 93.6 or something. Okay. So, yes. Okay. And I, so did you hear, um, so we had, uh, there was a choir singing there in, was, the, in yes. the, it, it was really the garage, but I'm not sure if it was like a, supposed to be a different stable or what exactly the... It looked like a room. I saw okay. them singing. I, okay. It, did, it was did very it... obviously live singing right. of okay. a church group. Okay. And then, yes, when you got to the U-turn or the, okay. the end of the road before right. you turned around, right. there they were. And okay. So, yeah. Okay. I don't know what... It could have been a garage. I don't know. Right. But they were in there. Well, cool. Yeah, it was cool. very cool. Thanks it's for, highly thanks recommended for, for next year. Right. For so they had fi over 500 cars drive through that between Friday and Saturday night. Wow. That's yeah, there awesome. was a line. That's there was awesome. a line. The line started quite a w quite a ways away, and it just didn't move. And I thought, well, if this is a drive-through, right? Why is it not like Moving. slowly inching right. forward? Right. It's like being in line at Starbucks. But it was worth it. Right. Good. I'm glad Starbucks you, I'm glad is never that so. long <laughs> or really? that slow. Okay. But okay. it was worth it. It was worth it. Good. It worth it. I even got I'm... a little bag of cookies. You did. And someone came around to the window and gave me cookies. Oh, perfect. Did I'll you eat them? I did. Yeah. Before I was even out of there. Oh, okay. Perfect. Uh, I do also have some news. It's my mom's birthday on Friday. The day after tomorrow? Correct. Happy Is that birthday? Friday? Well, if today's Wednesday, yeah. then usually it's two days. Right. But right. You yes. didn't warn me in advance, so I had right. to do the math on the spot. Did you oh, see how quickly I, I was? I saw that. And there's no birthday button to have the no balloons. No birthday button. You know, the balloons go I up. I am and finding the, out about this right now, along falling. with the audience. Right. Thank you, Sorry, Mr. Jacobs. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. That was a streamer in case you, yeah. But speaking of Christmas, I'm, I'm sticking with Christmas. Every year, and I like this, on Christmas Eve day, you mm -hmm. have a barbershop quartet yes. in here for an hour or two singing two. Christmas yep. songs. Mm -hmm. And I think Santa's here too. Correct. Santa makes a, a stop yes. on a very busy day for him. Right. But you, right. Have, you have pull. I've, I'm, a, I'm a king, after <laughs> That's all. Right. Or a princely king. A wise man. I'll go with wise man. Man, okay, okay. Not the other three letter word? <laughs> Not the other one. Okay. Where was I? Ah. Jacob's uh, Meat Market. This is on. <laughs> Christmas Eve day. Typically, yeah. This year is the Sunday, right. which means you're not going to do it. Because yeah, we're closed. You're closed. Right. What are, what are your plans? Uh, cookie the, baking. the camera. Cookie oh. baking with the family. I give up. Are you going to bake cookies with the family? About the barbershop quartet and Santa. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. What are we going to do in lieu of it being on Sunday? Yes. Oh. In lieu. That's so the second time in lieu used of uh, the, the, the Barbershop Quartet and Santa being here on, on Christmas Eve, we are going to do it on the 23rd. Christmas Eve Eve. Day. Correct. The 23rd, the 23rd which, 23rd, is, Saturday. which is easier to say than Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. But anyway, I, so I Saturday Eve, Eve day. from 10 to noon, there's going to be the famous oh, yeah. Barbershop okay. Quartet as well as Santa. Oh, yeah. From 10 to noon. From 10 to noon, correct. Saturday the 23rd of December, this month. Correct. All right, I'll, I'll be here. Yeah, I'll be here. That sounds perfect. It's, it's fun. It sounds perfect. It's fun. So, so what I tell people is, I don't care if you buy anything. I don't care if you are, are just in need of a little holiday cheer. Because it's here. It's here. It's here. It is, it is barbershop. awesome. But where else do you hear a barbershop quartet? I, no, they're hard to come by. They are. They're, they're they, not they standing really on the street corners down on College Ave. No, I, they should be, they but should they're be, not. But they're not. Yes. So you take care of us. Yes. You yes. bring them here. So just come on down from 10 to noon, enjoy a song or two or three or four. Or and, 25. And, or four or five or however long you can stand those guys. Um, and, uh, and then just kind of go on your merry little way. I should say that they're good. They are very they're good. Very good. Yes, they're professionals. They are professionals. It's not just four it, people that we said. Uh, can yeah, you sing no, tenor? You can. You I am not in this group. Correct. Neither are yes, you. Correct. <laughs> I do sing a song or two. Yes, he's been singing Christmas songs all morning. Yes, and you love it. <laughs> so also at noon, I must say, oh. at noon, Simple Simon comes. That's the bakery that provides us bakery oh, here. Oh, I thought the, um, the character from the fairy tale or children's story or whatever it is. Is there a Simple, Simple Simon, Simon character? Simon, he met a pieman. I mean, he was going to the fair. I'll fill you in later. Please yeah, tell us what? about Simple Simon. <laughs> the bakery? The bakery. Or the pieman? No. He wasn't a pieman. He oh, met a pieman. He met a pieman. Okay. Uh, so at noon, Simple Simon Bakery, uh, a lot of people from there come here and we sing White Christmas. So once. that's a tradition. W just once. Just yep. once. And the barber shoppers help us. So if you don't have a very good voice, Wait, why are you looking at me? <laughs> uh, so if you don't have a very good voice or you just want to just come in and just enjoy a nice... This is noon. At noon. On Saturday the 23rd. Correct. To Correct. sing White Christmas. Dreaming it's been a holiday Christmas. tradition here at Jacob's Meat Market we, and with Simple Simon Bakery for over 60 years. We might actually have a White Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. It's if the weather stays Christmas. like this. The weather outside? Is frightful, yes. Frightening or frightful? Frightful. Did they change it? No, nah, I changed it. Oh, okay. Do you mind? Not it's at poetic all. Poetic license. Yeah. Leave me alone. Speaking of my mom's birthday, she used to change songs all the time. Used to? She doesn't anymore? You change them too, though. Come on. Ah. All the time. Yes. You know, uh, there's this thing called... Uh, Facebook? <laughs> the Meat Market Mailer. Why oh. don't you tell us all about it? <laughs> I am moving along. Yeah, can we? Can we? Uh, the Meat Market Mailer. What is that? That's uh, a, a mailer oh. about the meat market. About the meat market. Yeah. It comes... Electronically, through electronically, electronic oh. mail oh, or email. Email, what are yeah. those mail? Yes. So you sign up right on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. It's on the World Wide Web. On the World Wide Web. Yes. The interwebs. In, as, yes. As it were. It right. Is. Right. So yeah. on the right hand side of the page, um, there's a little text box that so you can just enter your email address, click submit, and twice a week you receive a meat market mailer. It's that easy, is it? It's that easy. How much does it cost, though? Well, you well, gotta put up with the how jokes many, first. De depends how many people we sell it to, I guess. No, Your email. It's free. Oh, is it free? It's free. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Just so you know, it's okay. free. And, well, and now you tell you me. You get two a week. One is Sunday, and the other is Wednesday. Uh, and what, is, what do these emails contain? They Please contain do. on Sunday. They contain the uh, the weekly lunch menu. Okay. That we that we provide Monday through Friday. Except for the two. next two weeks. This week we're doing lunch. I think next week we're not. Oh, I think next week we are. Okay, then let's do them next. The week. last two weeks of this we'll, month. We'll, we'll talk Rena into it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, the lunch and menu. The, the, the last two weeks of the year we will not. Last two weeks of the year, no lunch. going to be too busy. Lunch menu and I think the Monday Tuesday. Monday Tuesday specials. specials. Yes. And then on Wednesday I I receive the Wednesday specials. Right. Which is what we're here to talk about today. Are we? I'm Let's not to. talk about the weekly specials. Well, Let's the, talk about the, the in lieu holiday of the weekly in specials. Lieu. Are you stealing got, my word now? No, I, I, it's my word. Before. Oh, is it? Okay. Christmas offerings. Uh, let's talk about that. But first, you have a joke for me. Yeah, I've did heard you, half of it. Did you? <laughs> and you were pondering I, it. I liked it so much. I yeah. said, you got to tell it. Right, right. Did you hear about the uh, the bottle of water that was wanted by the police? 
I thought it was wanted in three states. It was, well, it was wanted oh, by the three police states. in oh. the three states. In the three states. I get yeah. it now. I get it now because you told it differently. Yes. <laughs> uh, solid, liquid, and gas. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah right. Is that a Christmas joke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, it depends. No, oh, never mind. You know this one, so answer it. Oh, okay. If and athletes, if I don't. If athletes, if athletes get athlete's foot, what do astronauts get? Uh, Max. <laughs> mistletoe. 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 Oh, mistletoe. Yeah, got it. No. Last of week course I, I knew I that. I asked you about Santa's favorite pop star. Yes. And this week I want to know what is what is Santa's favorite cereal? Cereal. Reese Witherspoon? Oh. <laughs> Different joke. Witherspoon. <laughs> Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes. Frost. Oh, I like it. I like it. You have things on the table in front of me that yes. you never have on the table. Right. So what are we doing here? Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, so this week, in lieu of our specials, per your words, your quote, um, we're going to uh, display some holiday offerings that we provide here at Jacob's Meat Market that you may call ahead and order. But they look fantastic. They do. <laughs> they do. You should see them from the other side. I, I probably will. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to talk about a little bit about what they are, what their price per pound, what the, what the, what the ditty is. Oh, look at that. Oh, Christmas, look at that. Christmas offerings. Oh, oh. Well, you've got it things laid beautiful. out here. Uh, I don't know. I know what a pit ham is, and that must be a smoke Yeah, this ham. was going to be a test to see what, what you knew and what you didn't know. Uh, uh, that's I was all guessing I know. you didn't know anything. Tenderloin? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, and that's all I got. Oh, perfect. So these are the beef ones. So you're going to be learning just as much as the yeah, but I gotta go tilt the camera. Of the two two viewers I'm tilt that we the have. the camera so people can yeah. see that. Okay. That's the. Do you know prib. The, prib? Yeah. Prime rib. Oh. One of these is a prime rib. Yeah. That's a prime rib. Yeah. <sighs> this is actually a prime rib as well. They're both prime ribs. Yes. Pit ham. Mm-hmm. Uh, tenderloin. tenderloin. That's a tenderloin. tenderloin. Yes. Smoked ham and the rolled rib. Yes. It, you don't have rolled rib out here. I do. You do. Then that's a rolled rib. Yes. Okay. But it's different from the prime rib. Correct. So you get to push the buttons. Rib, but. Oh, okay. But first, tell are me. You, tell me you, when I. What are the buttons going to do? <laughs> well, here. Just oh, tell push me. Push a button and find tell out. Tell me huh? when this is in the right spot. Uh, keep going. For the beef. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Do you know what you're doing? Keep going. Keep going. There. Oh, stop. All right. Okay. This one is what? That's the yeah. rolled rib. So right here, we have the rolled rib roast. Rolled. Yep. All right. So he right here, we have the rolled rib roast. This right here is a approximately about a seven pounder. So it's a it's a ribeye, is the oh. cut of meat. Uh, but we we uh, we we cut the fat cap right here, and then we roll it over and we tie it, so that it cooks as a roast. As a roast. Yes. If you just chopped it. It would just be a ribeye rib roast. roast, right? It wouldn't it wouldn't cook as well as like this here, and so in in, in cutting the fat cap and rolling it over, we um, protect that meat as well from drying out. What's because the it's fat. minimum weight I can order if I wanted one? I would say like a two pound. Really, two, okay. a two pound rolled rib. Two pound is the smallest. Yes, yes, and the largest really would be good. approximately fifteen to sixteen pounds. Wow. Yes. So at least twice as long as this one. Correct. The more poundage, the longer, I guess. Right. right? Yes. Yes. That's a that's a meat market mathematics. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I, so I these like are eighteen ninety nine a pound. Eighteen ninety nine a pound. Yep. And this is something that you should order in advance. If you yes. Yep. If you know exactly how much you need, how many people you're having, if you call up and say I've got six people, we will help you um, determine how much. How much okay. meat you need. And that's probably true for everything here. Correct. Order in advance exactly. is the best. Yes. Otherwise, you might not get exactly what you need. Right. Okay. Right. And you're taking orders now. We are taking orders now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not not actually right now. Now because we've got the phone off the hook, so it doesn't distract me that's, while doing okay, the podcast. Okay. Not right this second. Correct. But in another thirty minutes, you'll be correct. You'll be taking thirty orders minutes again, or so. Yes. Or so. Yes. Depends on how long we talk about this. Correct. Uh, I think we're going to the tenderloin. Yes. So next here we have a, a, a beef tenderloin. Which uh, which Max Max beautifully barrel rolled for barrel us. Barrel rolled. Yes, with Are the butcher these, string. Is this where filet mignon comes from? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's a that's a French so, term for tenderloin. So, 
This is ribeye. This is filet mignon. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, so the whole beef tenderloins come approximately four pound, uh, four pounds for the whole one. If you don't want the whole one, if you need only three pounds for your family because you only have six people, um, we can cut to whatever size you'd like. Okay. Up to, up to approximately four pounds. Is, is the one that's on camera four pounds? -ish? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Give or take. Did you say the price? Was I not uh, paying no, attention? Uh, you weren't paying attention. You were paying attention this time to me not saying the price. And the price uh, on the whole beef tenderloin is seventeen ninety nine a pound. And the price on the rolled rib? Uh, those are eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine a pound. Yes. Yes. Okay, and we have one more beef and offering. And the next one here, uh, this is a, a prime rib roast, the first button there. Um, so this this is a, a bone-in prime rib roast, and what we do with this, this is a this is a bone-in ribeye is what it starts it's, out Okay, as. it's a ribeye too. Yes. Okay. So we cut the bones off, and then we tie them back on. And we also cut a little bit of the cap off as well, just like the rolled rib. Uh, but we cut a little bit of the cap off and we put it on the on this this piece of meat right here. Okay. Because otherwise, if we didn't, that would dry out as well. So that's for, yes. for cooking purposes. Correct. So I see bones right here. Yes. You're saying they are not attached. Correct. They so have been removed and then placed there and tied, tied back on. Okay. Correct. So so the reason that we do that is that if we didn't cut them off and tie them back on, you would only be able to cut between the bones. So, so the, the, your serving size would only be so big. Okay. If you, if you do it this way, which we've been doing for years, you cut the bones off and, and uh, you tie them back on there and you cook it with the bones on and then you cut the strings when you're done cooking it and then you can slice it as thin or as thick as you want. So far I want everything you've shown. Okay. Everything. Okay. okay. I've got you on the hook for all of them. In the smallest right. portions you can give me, but okay. I want all okay. of it. This, sure. This is... Sure. So, so the nice thing about cutting them off and tying them back on for the portion wise is that, okay, so you have a, you have a child, so you're gonna slice them to a really thin piece of, of uh -huh. prime rib. Um, and then you have, you know, your 16 year old nephew that's on the football team and you're gonna wanna slice him something larger. So you get the flavor with the bones by, by tying them off and cutting them back on, cutting them off and tying them back on. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> um, but then you have the convenience of when you're done cooking them, being able to take the bones that off does and sound slice convenient. them. Yes. They're already removed. Right. But I got the right. flavor from them. Correct. Because you put them on with string. Right. Butcher string. Butcher string. Yes, sir. Butcher, yeah. Okay, I'm moving on to something I actually recognize. Yes. Uh, which is a pit ham. Yes. Um, and I, you can see it on the screen So a right boneless there. pit ham is right here. Yep. It's yep. P-I-T, pit ham. Pit, yes. Yeah. It's like a pit smoked ham. That's what the pit comes from. Oh, really? There's not, it's not like an olive where there's a pit in there. Oh, okay. Or an avocado. Do they have pits? Yeah. Or are those seeds? That's, well, if, what is One a pit? It's seed? not a seed. What? Jeez, what that's pretty philosophical there. <laughs> anyway, a pit, this, it's not I, a get seed. This, I get this a lot uh, for sandwiches. Yes. Because you'll slice it up for me. Yes. And in fact, you do often. You yourself will yes, often I do. slice that up yes, for I me. Yes, I do. I do work, yes. Yeah, well, um, yeah. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's we'll a very let that slide. term. Yes, right. <laughs> Uh, so the boneless pit hams are, uh, they come anywhere, I would say from about two pounds all the way up to approximately 14, 15 pounds on the whole ones. You don't have to get a whole one. If you again, call us up and say you want a four pounder, we will certainly slice you a four pounder. And the, the, another option that a lot of people like about the pit hams is that we can slice it and tie it for you. So a lot of people like that. So you have guests over, you have 10 or 12 guests over and it's kind of intimidating to watch everybody sit around the table and watch you carve this ham or slice this ham. And you know, it's like, it's like cutting cheese where, you, where one end is really thin and one end is really thick. But then you have, again, you have 10 or 12 people watching you and analyzing how you're slicing I it and stuff that. like that. But, you know, I'm you, not everybody. You, you enjoy analyzing people? No, I like being the person cutting oh, and oh, having okay. everybody critique. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're different. I'm different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but you've been told that before. Yeah, um, I embrace it. So, so but you'll yeah. slice it. So the nice thing that we do is correct. And correct. then you'll tie it up yourself. Yeah. So we're gonna slice it and we're gonna tie it. So it's gonna look like it was never even sliced. Oh. So that like when you're the done cooking here it, on, on correct. That. Yeah. Exactly. They don't look like they're detached. Right. Right. So that when you when you cook it. When you're done with it, all you have to do is just cut the strings, the butcher string, and people can take one or two pieces off at a time. Open up. Yes. Oh, okay. 
never been here before I drive by. Are oh, we just going to listen to the customers? I'm not sure. I, I was wondering where you were going with this. <laughs> I'm going to take off the pit ham and go to the smoked ham. Yes. Something else All with right. which I am familiar. So, so let's put this more on camera. So we, um, we actually just smoked these two days ago. You made a video. Um, I this, saw it. It's yeah, on this, YouTube. Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. So we have a bone-in home smoked ham right here. Uh, this portion is approximately about eight pounds. Um, the whole ones are between 15 and 18 pounds. Uh, you don't have to, again, get a whole one. You know, the nice thing about coming to Jacob's is you get pretty much what you want. Especially if you order in advance. Right, yeah. right, exactly. Um, so this portion is about eight pounds. Um, it is $4.99 a pound. I don't think I said the pit ham price is um, $6.99 a pound. Six ninety nine a pound. Yep. Um, so the bone-in uh, home smoked hams are $4.99 a pound. But that includes the bone. Yes. Yeah, which yeah. is good. I right. like the bone. Yeah. Right. Um, so th the smallest portion I would recommend on a bone-in ham is approximately four to five pounds. Four to because five. Because anything smaller than that, you're getting more bone than meat. Right. So. Four to five pounds. Four to five pounds. Bone -in. Right. Right. Pit ham can come in. Well, I can two, get. Two. I would say I can get two a half pounds. A pound of yeah. Ham. Yeah. But but it's, if we're gonna slice it and tie it, I would say maybe a, a pound or so. I pound mean, I've so. taken that home for my family before and just put it in the oven. And, you know, it, it, it works as a really, really good meal. Really? Yes. Because right, I only get it for sandwiches. Yes. The pit ham. Right. In fact, I thought it was a sandwich meat. But now it can you're be saying, if we slice it like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I consume it. Right. But now I've learned something. I can right. get a whole one. But I prefer the bone in. So I get, a, I get a, a five pound smoked bone in. Uh, and I, I did Everything's mention, better with the bone in. I did mention your video. It's on YouTube. I did yes. not bring it to show here because I think everyone who's watching this video has already seen it. Right. It was just in case production value when that smoke yeah, came out of the smokehouse. Right. That was very nice. I uh, <laughs> so Eric is the one that actually uh, did the video. Per, or, uh, uh, I was behind the camera. You were behind the camera, <laughs> and once the camera shut off, oh, are you calling me the ham? <laughs> once the camera shut off. The <laughs> Luke's the ham and Eric's the, the beef. Uh, yeah, so once the camera shut off, Eric ran out of that smokehouse room. Yes, it was smoky. and rubbing his eyes and just, he. Tell me when. Perfect. When? 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 Hey, Chris, you want to be on camera? No? Okay. Then get out of here. No, just kidding. <laughs> Are we back? Yeah, back. okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, I had seen the smoke rooms, smoke right, houses. Right, the smoke house, You've yeah. got three of them, don't you? Yes. I'd seen them, but I had never been there when you opened the door. And I mean, it was a lot of smoke. Right. <laughs> and you, What I did you know, say again? I, I, did I say something? Not on camera. Not on camera. <laughs> not on camera. <laughs> you did, though. I did. You, you brought out your phone and lit them oh, up. Oh, yeah. Good production value, yes. good production yes, value. Yes, sir. Thank you for sharing all of yes. these. Now, these are not the only things that you can order here. Right. In fact, you have a list right there. Right. Did yeah, you mention definitely. prime rib? Uh, we showed the prime rib. Showed the prime rib. Did yes. you mention the boneless pit hams? I did. Okay. Did you mention the bone-in smoked ham? Yes, I did. Crown roast of pork. Oh, crown roast of pork. Crown roast of pork. Uh, I wish I would have texted you a picture of this last crown roast of pork that we I did. We do that next week. Yes. Oh, it's gone, isn't it? The <laughs> you'll, picture? You'll make another one. Oh, you have a picture. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, you could yeah. have texted that. Yeah, because it was pretty impressive. If I do say so myself. You just so did. a crown roast of pork. Yes. Never mind. Yes. I <laughs> thought we went through this earlier. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, so a crown roast of pork is uh, basically uncut pork chops. Okay. And they come uh, between 8 and 15 to 20 pounds, if you want. Um, and just like a crown that a king or queen would wear, um, it, is, it is a circle of pork. It doesn't come that way, though. You have a to circle make of pork? it into oh, a circle. Oh, that's what we do, that's, yes. Okay. Yes, that's what we do so that you can cook it. You can take it from the package, put it in a pan, and put it in the oven and bake it yourself. If you want to? Yes, if you want to. <laughs> and you have a picture. If you don't want to, then you don't have to either. Crown roast of pork. Yes. Beef tenderloin was shown. Yes. Round round. That's also, you can order that in advance. Right, okay. for sure. For sure. A lot of people like that for cannibal sandwiches. Have you ever heard of a cannibal sandwich? I think I did. You think you did? From you, I've heard of cannibal sandwiches. Oh, okay. Or some people call it tiger meat. So it's basically a raw, raw burger, raw so dog. Steak tartar burger. Steak tartar, yeah. sure. Yeah. So uh, brown ron is good for that. We grind it fresh here every single day. Um, so a lot of the 
a lot of the negative things that people think about is uh, I'm not eating ground meat anymore that's not cooked. So we grind it fresh here every single day just like we have for years. So it's, I, I don't know if I can officially say it's safe to eat, but a lot of people do. A lot of people do? Yes. And they come back for more? Or do you never see them again? Uh, they do come back for more okay. every year. Every year, as a matter of fact. Rack of lamb. Yes. This is much like a crown roast of pork, but with a lamb. Correct. Okay. Correct. Got it. So it's a, it's a lamb, lamb ribs. Oh, yes, ribs. it's lamb. yes. So so lamb chops are typically loin lamb chops. Okay. Um, which is just down from the, uh, the the lamb ribs, which are made from the rack of lamb. So you can you can cut those, and those are um, lamb rib chops. Okay. Um, but the, uh, typically, if you would get a lamb chop, it's typically a loin chop because it's got that just like just like a T-bone in a porterhouse. Just like. Yeah, but lamb. But lamb. Yes. Is this also into a crown? You, we can do you it. Can do it. I so I've been here for over twenty years. Um, I have done three. Oh. Lamb crown roast. So before. you can count on count them on times yes. you've done it on yes, one hand. Yes, because they're they're expensive, and uh, it's very impressive. Like it looks more like a crown Does it? that a that a king or queen would wear than because a pork roast. Because what the, the bones because, are taller. Uh, yeah, the the bones are taller, um, as well as there's there's a, not a ton of meat on the meat portion of the crown roast of por of lamb, um, but it it just looks super super impressive. Then it's awesome. I can get one of those if I want. One. Sure. Okay. Sure. Bring your checkbook. And rolled rib. Yes. Which we have gone over. All of these things can be ordered now mm -hmm. to be sure that I get what I want. Right. And can I also, when I'm ordering, uh, tell you when I want to pick it up? Yes. Oh, okay. So yes. I can arrange that all in advance. Correct. Yep. Yep. You tell us what day you want to pick it up, and we we should have it ready for right. you. Right. Yep. This is you do this every year. We do. Okay. So every year, every holiday, every, I mean, people call in still and they order, you know, I want 12 brats and just make sure that we have 12 brats for them. Oh, you just know, we just take orders throughout the year. Throughout the year. Yeah. Anything I want to make sure that you have. Correct. I am I know next Wednesday I'm going to feel like having this, so yeah. call you. Half and, pound of pit ham, yeah. Half pound of pit right. ham. <laughs> shave. Shave, yes. <laughs> it's always better shave. Thank you very much. This was excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we should show and tell more often, I yeah, think. Yeah, we should. I like we this. We should um, I don't know if you shared the phone number. I don't think you I shared haven't. the phone number um, to you call can. and order. I bet it's 920. 920, yes. Then there's a 7. Yeah, 733 1031. 10 yeah. Yes, sir. 1031. Yeah. What was it again? 920 without the shouting. 733 1031. It's going to be nonchalant about it. She doesn't watch the podcast. Oh. Special days. Would you like to hear about the special yes, days? Yes, absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, December 7th, Hanukkah begins at Thanks, nightfall. Thanks, Chris. Can you start over? I can. Tomorrow? Tomorrow, December 7th. Yes. Hanukkah begins at Ooh. nightfall. Really? Yes. Well, according to my research, okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> Extensive research. Extensive research. This Saturday, December 9th, Christmas card day. Christmas card day uh, serves as a reminder to get your postage stamps and Christmas cards. It's time to send them. I know you send them because I get one. I do. I get one. I do. Anybody else that would like one, email me. <laughs> Sign up for the mailer. Yeah. Um, no, not. Have you taken the photo yet? I've I've picked the six photos. Have you? Okay. Yes. Okay. And I ordered them. Okay. They should be here just in time. Just in time for, for Christmas card day. Christmas, yeah. This Sunday, December tenth. Do you send out Christmas cards? You get mine every year. Oh yeah. Is, are they that? Well, it's not a picture of me, so why would you remember? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See, it's, it's, it's more. Yes. Yeah. It's more special. Yeah. I use yours as, for darts. Yeah. So I remember. I it. hope it don't hit my daughters. Of course not. I'm not even aiming at them. Um, I didn't say Shall you were I good. move on? Yes. <laughs> it's not very far away. Okay. For you, I just put it in my hand. And twist this Sunday, Moving right along. This yes. Sunday, December 10th, a day you like, National Logger Day. Ooh. Oh, I hit your microphone. Sorry you about did. that, everybody. Yeah. Um, so I know how you'll be celebrating. I love loggers, yes. Uh, and this coming Tuesday, I don't usually go that far out, but that's an important day. It's a week from yesterday. It's National Poinsettia Day. One of my favorite Christmas things is the poinsettia. Really? Best selling houseplant in the United States. Because really? 35 million of them are sold a year. Wow. Around Christmas time, all red. No, they have, they, white they have whites, and yeah. yeah, they come in different colors now. But I like the red ones. Do you buy one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's 
my Christmas decoration plus my little tree. Oh, okay. My little fake tree. Fake tree? <laughs> my little fake tree. We're going to cut down uh, a tree actually on Sunday. Are you? After church, yeah. A, 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 like a, a Christmas real tree. tree farm? Yes. Or well, just go off in the... Or in the neighbor's yard, yeah. whenever's well, closer. With you, I went yeah, you. correct, correct. So, sorry, <laughs> Mrs. Smith. Mrs. <laughs> Smith. Last week, we had a contest. Yes. The prize is and was uh, Bulls Bees Honey, because that's a new product. Here. Oh, yes. Um, and we asked people to comment with their favorite... Do you remember? No. no. Christmas movie. <laughs> that was a long time Christmas ago. Christmas movie. Oh, yes. Christmas movie. Now I remember. So, I'll read some comments here. Yes. Uh, I, I think that's LG LG. It might be Ig Ig. I don't know. Okay. It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite. Uh, no to the movie Die Hard. Apparently Thank does you. not think Die Hard is a Christmas Thank movie. You. You, oh, you two guys are a great team. You should have a radio show. We could arrange that. I no. Okay, here we go. No. <laughs> I need some Is little. this person saying that we have a great face for a radio? Like That's they, not they how I read like, it. They don't like that to see us. That is not how I read it. They would rather have us I, I on think, the radio so they don't have to see us. I think most people consume this show by turning it on and then doing something else. They're not actually glued to the set or the computer or their screen. Unless we're showing a bunch of meat. Even then, unless Even then. <laughs> if it's something they want, then they'll come look. But I think... Sure. That's probably how you consume most podcasts, video podcasts, too. You just turn them on. Just one. What, yeah. Just one. <laughs> Buck. Uh, Buck said, it's good to have you back, Eric. Yeah. Oh, how about yeah. that, how about Buck, that? huh? How about that? Uh, how do you say that name? Tara. I, I always say Tara, Tara, and you say, no, it's Tara. Yeah. Christmas Vacation is at the top yeah. of my holiday movie list. Was that not your pick, too? Yes. Yeah. We're on the same page. We, we like the same so. beer. We like the same movie. Yeah. Chris, uh, I'm picking Bad Santa just to be different. I have not seen Bad Santa. No? No. Have you? I have. Have you? Yeah. And? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Uh, I think Lynn, I've only seen it once, but... Lynn says Home Alone. Okay. Lori says, you guys make a great team. See, oh, I go away that? for three weeks. Yes, sir. Ouch. Uh, enjoyed the video. My favorite Christmas movie is It's a Wonderful Life. That is a good one, too. Have yes. that? Have you seen that one? Yes. And That's the one with that uh, Carrie, Carrie no, Griffin or whatever. No, Jimmy Stewart. Carrie Jimmy Grant. Jimmy Stewart? Yeah, yeah. What's her name again? Carrie Grant? Carrie Grant. Carrie is that Grant. Amy's... Uh, grandfather? Grand yeah. yeah. Grandmother. <laughs> we're going to make you watch this movie. I, so I think you, you, so you, I think said, you would enjoy you it. You said when you were reading the comments that you were surprised that nobody mentioned the, Car the whole Cary Grant. Did I say that? Yes. Off I don't remember air. saying that. Off That's, the air. But, but if you say I said it, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I yeah. can quote you. Can you? Go ahead. No, I just did. <laughs> uh, Drew. Uh, I think that's Drew who won last week the... He, the, he came he come picked in? up the okay. pot roast, yeah. No, the other prize. Oh, he got a pot roast. <laughs> okay. Holiday movie, Family Stone. I, I don't know that movie. Do you know that movie? I don't. No. Uh, and Helen says, looking good, Luke. <laughs> I don't know that movie either. Uh, no. <laughs> so who... It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good one. You're <laughs> who, really missing out. Who gets the honey? Who gets the honey? Who gets the honey? You gotta pick a winner. I don't know. What do you think? Point at somebody and we'll call a name. How about, uh, let's try... Uh, okay, I don't know who that, that is. That one there. It, I, I don't remember if it's LG, LG or IG, IG. Do you want me to look right Ig, now? Ig. You've got time. No, this person knows who they are. Oh, the okay. person who said it's a wonderful life. And you two, uh, you two guys are a great That's, team. You should have a radio show. Yeah. Come to the store you and you get your hunt. radio. Got our, it didn't say that. That's not how I'm taking it. Okay. You just, yeah. <laughs> you be nice. Um, you want to do another contest this week? Yes. What do you want to give away? Uh, let's do a $25 gift card to uh, JD's and a $25 gift card to Jacob's Meat Market. 25 to Jacob's? Yeah. And 25 to, to J JD's. JD's is a, a lunch place? It, it, yeah. God. And dinner. And dinner. Yeah. Where is it located? It's right next to Hank and Karen's. Oh, is it? So yes. it's on John. On John's Street? Okay. Yes. I'm I'm glad you know where Hank and Karen. I've, I've seen it. I've never been there. But if you okay. go down John... JD's is awesome. It's just like Tom's, but better. Oh, I, I, then I do know it. It's a yeah. hamburger like joint. Tom's. Yeah. A hamburger joint. So I do know what that is. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to suggest Drew. that as, a, as what they comment. And I'm you just want me to read it for no, you? Or I just you wanted a... to get your approval. Because yeah. Oh, we didn't actually have time awesome. to go through the notes. Right. Because right, uh, you were so to late. Enter... <laughs> I'm out of here. 
to enter the contest, just comment below whether this is YouTube or Facebook. You will put this on Facebook, yes? Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. With your, your favorite Christmas song. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, I'm really put on the spot here. Yes, you are. I know it's whatever one is playing. Whatever one I'm singing. Yes. 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 It's got to be Mariah Carey. Really? Yeah. It is a good song. It's the it, best. There's a reason it's so popular. Right. The reason it's so popular. She's been warming up for months <laughs> in my car. Thawing. Yes. Thawing. Out. Right. That's What's all your I've favorite got. Christmas song? Oh. Um, so, so you said that with, sorry, to, to bring you back words to last in my week. Mouth yes, again. right, right. To bring you back to last week, you said you were going to watch all of these movies that were commented it, it, last yes. week. Is that correct? I didn't say I'd do it within the week. But uh, during December, I like to watch Christmas movies. Sure. I, Not just on Hallmark? I like Christmas. No, I don't even have Hallmark. But oh, okay. You watch one <laughs> of those, you, you, you know the whole thing. I don't have a TV. Okay. So I watch on my devices. Oh, okay. <laughs> Usually an iPad. Okay. Uh, sure. Anything else you want to know? <laughs> no. I, I, I so I have I'm not good. watched these. have not watched yours yet. Okay. But you have to watch The Bishop's Wife. I do? I, you will like it. Okay. I know it's black and white. But the story is good. You'll and what's her it. name's on it too? Who's what's her name? Uh, Cary Grant. Him. He. Oh, he. <clears throat> okay. Christmas song. Christmas favorite song. Christmas oh, song. Oh. Uh, well, uh, my favorite one personally is "I'm Getting uh, Nothing for Christmas." Not impersonally. And and my personally. favorite one musically is probably uh, "Oh Holy Night." By who? Anybody. Oh, just the words. You and like the words. Call? Yeah, the music. The oh, music okay. is good. Okay. Sounds I Christmassy. Like, I also like the, uh, what's that? Uh, Chip. Trans-Siberian oh, oh, Trans yeah, Trans Orchestra. They're good. Yeah. So Nate, who's not here this week, yeah. said that he might he might be able to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Orchestra while he's gone. Really? Yeah. He's or going a to Siberia? Of, oh. <laughs> well, they tour. They're not just in Trans-Siberia. I was joking. Is Siberia and Trans-Siberia a different place? I think uh, Siberia is a place, and if you go across it, you're, you're it's trans. Transiting? Over, yeah, you're trans. Oh, okay. I have no idea. Made that up on the spot. Yeah. There's your line. Sounds great. <laughs> Thanks for well, watching. Ladies, oh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching, if you still are. Uh, we will be back again next Wednesday with another live broadcast of BSTV at 1030 AM on Wednesday. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, come and visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific Street in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. We are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. And what's your phone number? 920-733-1031 if you want to call ahead and place your order. Place your order. I'm going to play the Thank outro you. now. Bye.